Well, I figure this might be a short video, but I figure this might be a good video to make, considering there's lots of people that are wondering how us nomads live this lifestyle and how we do it, and they're curious. So this video today is going to be about what happens when you need something delivered, like you order it online and you need to have it delivered, but you're on the road traveling. Well, I came to that problem just now. <laughs> so yesterday I arrived to my beautiful campsite where I'm at, set up camp and it's free, <laughs> which is even better. And I planned on staying at this beautiful campsite for 14 days, cause that's the limit that you can do. But my refrigerator quit working. And I just went and stocked up on groceries right before I got here. So my fridge is stocked up with groceries. It's still cold right now, but the fan is broke. The temperature that lights up keeps going out. The fan hasn't ran for for 24 hours now, so. And I'm in the middle of nowhere, literally in the middle of nowhere. I think the nearest biggest town is probably about two hours away. So I sat here and thought about how I can get a new fridge and dispose of my old fridge properly. Well, after doing a lot of research last night, I thought maybe I could have my new fridge delivered to one of those Amazon hub lockers, which I would have had to drive two hours to the biggest city for that. Turns out you can have packages delivered to those Amazon hub pack, uh, lockers if you can find one close to you, but the packages have to be 10 pounds or less. Well, my new fridge is not going to be 10 pounds or less. So there was a dilemma again. So then I thought, well, maybe a UPS store because most of my Amazon packages have always been delivered by UPS. Well, the nearest UPS store is two hours away. And I just arrived in this beautiful area that I'm at and I don't want to leave because there is so much to see and do here. And I've been wanting to come to this area for a while. So I don't want to leave. But this is kind of an emergency, especially with my food. <laughs> this is how I eat. So for the last six months, I've had this Booge, Booge RV fridge and I have the insulation cover on it and everything. And uh, I haven't had any issues with it for the last six months until now. And it started acting up a little bit over the last couple of days, but I didn't, I thought I still had a little bit while with it until I could get to a major city. Well, no, it has cut off. <laughs> so um, I'm definitely not going with another Booch RV um fridge um i've decided to go with the dometic fridge because after doing a lot of research and also meeting a lot of fellow travelers everybody has highly recommend the dometic fridge so i'm going to get the dometic fridge now how am i going to get that fridge to me so the only thing i could come up with is i'm gonna have to leave this beautiful free campsite that I'm at. And I'm going to have to go to an actual campground. But the actual campground that I'm going to is on tribal land and it's owned by Native Americans. And if you guys have watched my channel for a while, I have always been infatuated with the Native American history. So, and it's another one that I found off a of hip camp. So they're privately owned, meaning they're not overcrowded. So I guess I would just have to deal with that, but it just sucks it's not free. But I have messaged them and asked them if I could have my fridge delivered there. And they said yes. 
And before I heard back from them, I found a KOA in the area. And I called the KOA and asked them if I could have a fridge delivered there also. And they said yes. So it looks to me like you were able to have packages delivered to actual campgrounds that you're staying at. So that's good to know. I'm trying not to pay for the campgrounds, but when there's stuff like this that happens, or I need to have something delivered to me ASAP, I'm gonna have to break down and I'm gonna have to pay for a campground. So yeah, that's what this video is about today. It'll be short, but I also like to share what's going on with me and how I do this lifestyle and everything. Um, so if you guys are wondering that, <laughs> I figured that out. It took some time. I was up pretty late last night trying to figure it out. Um, so I'm packing up now, packing up my beautiful Jeep in this beautiful place. And I'm heading out and I'm gonna do a little filming um, of this place so I can make a video of this beautiful place. And then I guess what I'm gonna do for the time being is I'm gonna have to stop and get some ice and just use my fridge as a cooler. Or buy a cooler. But there's only gas stations around, so I don't know if I'll find a cooler. I can't let all this food go to waste because I got enough food to last me for two weeks because I was supposed to be out here for two weeks. But my motto is, I'll figure it out. I always do. Well, it really is sad to leave this place, <laughs> but at least I got to see it, so that's good. And at least I got to spend one night here. Um, it is in a canyon, so this whole place is in a canyon. Um, tomorrow, it starts three days of um, raining, and all three days, it's 60-something percent chance of rain. So I had already had it planned to just stay here at the campsite for the three days and just edit some videos and get some work done um, because this whole entire area is all dirt, like the red dirt. And it does say in the reviews of this place that it's not recommended to camp here whenever it rains, but I drive that right there so I think I'm good <laughs> but I still wasn't gonna go out in the rain on these roads and everything uh, for the next three days so I was just gonna get work done so just gonna go ahead and leave and where I'm going it's only 45 minutes down the road and uh, it was a place I was gonna go to anyways I was just gonna drive 45 minutes to get to it but, wait till you guys see the video that I have out on this beautiful place. And then you'll find out where I'm at. This has been Little One's favorite spot since we've been here. She likes to just sit there at the back of the Jeep and sometimes lay down and just look at the beautiful view. I bet you she's just as sad as me that we're leaving. I don't think she knows yet, but she's going to see. <laughs> Little one, do you want to leave this place? Do you want to leave this beautiful place that we're at that's very peaceful? Huh? Okay, see, we'll take that as a no. <laughs> <laughs>